hi guys welcome back to a, another video i hope you're all doing really well sorry that was a bit shaky i've just pulled up to the shopping center i'm treating myself to a little friday afternoon primark trip which you probably won't be surprised to hear. Oh, my light's just gone off. But I wanted to intro a new, a new vlog. My camera battery is running low, so I don't know if I'm gonna bring you into the shop, but I wanted to just have a little browse for some holiday bits. I'm heading down south, as I keep saying, for a couple of weeks, and there isn't really any shops down there. So I wanted to just have a bit of a pre-holiday shop before I head down there. But yeah, welcome to a new vlog. I hope you're enjoying these little vlogs. I'm really enjoying filming them. I literally just stopped recording about an hour ago for the last vlog. And we've started a new one now, so I'm really happy and excited to be back filming another one. And yeah, I'm gonna head into Primark now and I will of course show you any bits that I managed to pick up. I'm just in my home section, but look how pretty the packaging is on all of these bits. I feel like they all look so expensive. I absolutely love this little candle as well. I feel like they're doing really well in the home section at the moment. They've also got the same but in black and I absolutely love the packaging, I love the font on that. I feel like that'll look really nice in the bathroom or something. There's so many nice like fragrancy bits. I'm literally obsessed with this whole section. I would have all of this in our house. Look how pretty these glasses are and I absolutely love these bowls. They look like a bit like dog bowls but I love the speckled on them. And how cute are these napkins with all the different pasta on. I feel like Sam would love those. They're only £1.50. I just absolutely love this whole section. I would literally have all of this. It's a little bit later on. It's the same day. I didn't actually pick anything up in Primark because the home stuff was absolutely gorgeous. We don't need any more home stuff. So I was quite strict with myself. And then the clothes and the bags, I didn't really see anything I loved, to be totally honest with you. And I'm trying to be a bit sensible in the lead up to America. So even though I'm going to look around the shops, I'm being quite strict unless I love something I'm not going to get it but anyway I have just had the most beautiful thoughtful little PR package it was one of those moments I was literally like what is life I don't know if this 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 sounds a bit OTT but I just opened this and I was like what the hell like it nearly made me cry and it's from Bondi Sands. I've used Bondi Sands products for years. I love their tan remover. I've got like two bottles of it upstairs and I've tried all their stuff. I absolutely love them. I've got their tan mitts upstairs and they have sent me a box of the most gorgeous products. There's a little card in here. I've had a little look, but I thought we could look at the products together. I've not read the different products and what they are and stuff like that so I thought we, we could go through them together because some of the bits look really good but there's a handwritten little like galentine's card look how sweet that is it's just like the little things like that that just melt me like that is just such a thoughtful thing to do I really like appreciate the time that's gone into this and then it basically says on here it's like a galentine's movie night in and I was looking at the products, I was like, oh my god, and then I realised they put in a little delivery voucher and an Amazon voucher and it says on the note to have like a movie night in with a takeaway and I'm just obsessed. So I thought we could have a little look and unbox this together because as I say, I just opened it, I've read the card and not gone through all the products. So I thought we could have a little bit of an unbox together because I thought that would be fun. And some of these products look right up my street. I absolutely love these. I didn't even know they did things like this. I don't know if this is like part of their new range that's coming out. But how pretty is that purple bag for a start? And then inside, in the most gorgeous little summery spring colours, they're like makeup wipes. And I love using these. I've got some upstairs from Face Halo. And then I also picked them up from like Home Bargains and B&M. But this is like the type of thing that I use to remove my makeup. So absolutely love those. And I think the colours are so pretty. It's also handy that it comes in a bag like that. I can take that to, Am to America and put them in there when they're all wet and used. Um, they've also got pyjamas in here. How cute is this? I'm sorry. Thank you so much, Bondi Sands. Not that you'll probably be watching this video, but I just... Couldn't believe it when I opened this. I was like, what the hell? What is this? Is it like a nighty maybe? Like a, oh my God, look how cute. 
Galentine's Day, and that is so soft. Is this a brand? I don't know. I've never seen that before. Maybe it's like a good um, fake tan outfit, maybe. Um, but these were the bits that I was interested in. Obviously, these are like the standard products. This is the product that I absolutely love, the self tan eraser they also do like a gel i've got the foam and the gel upstairs i always use that to take my tan off with a mitt um and then their foam tanning mitt but these bits i don't know if these bits are new but i've never seen these before they've got like a self tan drops in light and medium for face and body so i don't know if these are like what you mix in with your face moisturizer to give yourself a bit of a glow and then they've also got this there's a face glaze, ultra hydrating cream mask with hyaluronic acid and ceramides. Just like a freshly iced donut, Bondi Sands face glaze cream mask, leave you, mask leaves you with a skin shine even you can't resist. Enriched with a blend of actives and natural botanicals including hyaluronic acid, ceramides, glycerin, face glaze, works to plump and hydrate skin for a nourished dewy complexion non com i can never say this word why is my reading literally like of a four-year-old non com comedogenic you know it basically doesn't clog your pores i know what the word means i just don't know how to say it um yeah it says that won't clog pores um so what is it is it like a i don't know if it's got like a tan in it or if it's just like a dewy Look at the packaging. How pretty is that? Yes, yeah, so I think it's just like a. Oh no, okay, it's a mask, obviously, duh, it's in the name. Apply an even layer of the face glaze to dry skin and leave on 15 to 20 minutes. Gently remove with warm water and damp cloth. Follow with Bondi Sand Serum or an oil. And then here we've got the light and dreamy lightweight gel moisturizer. This took my, what was I gonna say? Took my fancy, is that what I was gonna say? I don't know. But it says on here suitable for oily skin, which is obviously what I've got. And I've never risked putting any tan on my face. So even when I tan my body, I just don't bother with touching my face because I get scared with like my breakouts and my oil and everything like this. So this looks like a really lightweight is it a tan tan moisturizer give your skin the lift it needs with bondi sands light and dreamy gel moisturizer perfect for those oily skin types looking for lightweight hydration okay works to improve your skin barrier for hydrated bouncy complexion so i don't know if it's just like normal skincare i don't even know if this has got tan in maybe maybe you can mix i'm assuming that you mix the drops with the moisturizer maybe i don't know but love the packaging absolutely love that so thank you so much bondi sounds how sweet is that little pr box i honestly feel so lucky to receive things like that and that it never feels real like whether it's just like a little something that comes in the post or like something like this it's just like what is life what is life but yeah i'm excited to try those i will keep you posted as always i think these will be nice products to bring with me to america you know, like of an evening. It's not meant to be really sunny and warm over there when we're there, I don't think. But I just think like of an evening when I want like a bit of a freshen up on my face. Might be nice to try those out. But yeah, the plan for tonight, it's Friday night tonight. Um, Sam's just gone out for a sauna. I was going to go with him. He wanted me to go with him. But um, my skin's still a bit peely from my skin peel so I don't risk it because they say to leave it a week and it's not been a week yet, it'll be a week on Monday since I've had it so I'm just letting my skin sort of heal and do its thing. Um, so I'm already in my pyjamas, it's been so rainy and cold here, like it's been drizzling all day, it's only like half four now but I was like I'm getting into my pyjamas because I've been so cold, I've got myself a cup of tea over there as well and I'm just having a bit of a chill day because I've had one of those days like it's just been a bit never ending like I've had technical difficulties on my laptop like no first world problems and I don't want to sound like I'm complaining about nothing but you know the frustration of something like that was meant to take me 10 minutes to do took me like three and a half hours because my laptop just wasn't playing ball so I was just so frustrated with that 
and I've just had one of those days where like my to-do list just hasn't just taken me triple the amount of time basically than it should have done but I've managed to get everything done so I've rewarded myself with a cup of tea and getting into my pyjamas early and unboxing that with you <laughs> but yeah I'm just going to chill for the rest of the night I'm going to cook us some dinner and I'll probably catch up with you tomorrow good morning guys look at me I have literally <laughs> ripped my neck apart in the gym and I'm so gutted because I've done this exact thing before and I know exactly what I've done I've been doing exercises to the side of the mirror and twisting my neck to look in the mirror as I'm doing them and I've like pulled oh that so much I've like pulled all my muscles that go like from the top the bottom of my head like all the way down to my collarbone so if I like twist it in the wrong way I'm sure you've had that type of pain before it's just excruciating so luckily I think my mum or my dad, I think it was my dad, got me this for Christmas. And it's one of those like beanie bags that you can heat up in the microwave. So I've just been walking around with this on and it's quite good as well because it sort of acts as like a neck brace. So I don't like tilt my neck in the direction of the injury. Anyway, that is why I love reformer Pilates. I've been trying to go to the gym a little bit more because I only do my reformer Pilates twice a week because to be totally honest with you, it is extortionate. 100% worth it, but extortionate. So I can't justify going more than twice a week as much as I would absolutely love to. Um, so I've been trying to like up my gym sessions just, just to like bring some more exercise into my week rather than just two sessions a week. And I went on Saturday with Sam to do legs. And this is what happens. That is why I would always, always be a Pilates girl. But anyway, I've just made my coffee. It is Monday morning. I didn't pick you up all weekend. Just because, to be totally honest with you, we didn't really do anything. And it was literal bliss. I feel like we've not had... I say that, we never really do anything anyway. So, I don't know why I'm saying that. But you know, a so like a sofa day, where you literally just sit. We sat, ate snacks, watched... We started Lord of the Rings because I've never watched it. Um, and because my neck was in agony, I know it sounds silly, it's a pulled muscle, but it just makes you feel like you don't want to do anything. So, um, yeah, we just had like a proper chilled weekend, which was really nice. Um, saying that, though, yesterday I started a bit of a wardrobe clear out, which is just what I was about to show you. I'm trying to like organise piles for America. This is like the America stash um, that I'm building up. I'm trying to keep it separate from everything because I've, the things that I've ordered for America... I really want to keep them new and fresh for America so that they're the first times I'm wearing them, which I know sounds silly, but they're meant to be holiday clothes and I know what I'm like. Every time I order something new, I will just rinse it and wear it like every single day and then I'll get sick of it. So my my holiday clothes are over there and then this is a pile to go to charity. There's all sorts in there. There's like a big snuggly Udi type thing, um, some jumpers and stuff like that. And then I've got a pile here for Vinted that I need to upload. So... My wardrobe's looking pretty empty today, to be fair. Um, I need to tidy this bottom half, but I try and do this in, like, stages, clearing out my wardrobe, because otherwise I pull everything out, out of these drawers, get my shoes, my coats, everything, and it just overwhelms me, and I just regret starting it. So yesterday I just cleared this rail and this rail. Um, but, yeah, quite obviously I need to sort the bottom bit out. Um, but I'm actually really lucky in... I said that like I was really bigging it up then, but in our area we get these little charity bags like multiple a week. And I said to Sam yesterday, if one comes through the door, don't throw it away because I've got a pile that I want to put in there. And I've woke up this morning and there's one down there. So perfect timing and it's for Alzheimer's, which is really sweet. So really sweet. I don't know. Um, Alzheimer's is quite close to my family's hearts because... How many was it now? Three out of four of my grandparents have had like dementia, Alzheimer's. So um, yeah, that makes it even better that it's for that cause. But anyway, I've made myself my morning coffee. Have I already said that? I don't know, probably. It's just one of those Monday mornings today. But how does it for today? I'm gonna fill this bag up with those bits that I've put to one side. I'm gonna upload those bits to Vinted. I need to refilm some content that I filmed on Friday um, for a brand. So typical. Not complaining about my job whatsoever because I love it and I know this will seem like trivial to some people, but I filmed content for a brand 
sent it for approval they came back they were like oh my god we absolutely love it like this is exactly what we've been looking for so pleased with it but you've put the insert to the bowl it was it was the easy -E, actually i showed you the easy -E, either in the last video or this one i can't remember and it's like a silicon insert that goes into this like raised dog feeder and I'd basically put it in upside down so I've got to refilm it all today which is fine it shouldn't take me too long um we've got a food shopping food shop coming as well so I need to wait in for that and then we're sorting these out look at the absolute state of them they are so grown out I've just not really had the chance to go and get them done i probably have had the chance to go and get them done but i just haven't it the way everything's fallen so today we're going to get some fresh nails and then i need to start like packing and sorting bits out to go down south but yeah that's the plan of the day i'm going to get on now fill this sack up and maybe start uploading some bits to vintage i should probably get dressed as well i'm still just sat here chilling in my dressing gown i got out of the shower i've washed and blow dried my fringe <sighs> really don't do well with an injury like I feel like I'm just not mobile but yeah I'm gonna get on I'll catch up with you a bit later I'm literally in a world of my own this morning I don't know what's going on I've had like one chilled weekend and I'm just like Ugh. but yeah I'm gonna start packing up these bits into the charity bag Food shop has just arrived. I thought I'd show you what we got. Um, most of this, to be fair, is for Sam though, because I'm heading down south in a couple of days. But we've just got a huge toilet roll. I find, oh, just drop that. I find club card prices are so good. Like our weekly food shop is definitely cheaper now than when we used to go to like Lidl or Aldi, because you get so much um, money off with your club card. So definitely worthwhile having a little look at Tesco if you do a weekly food shop elsewhere because we definitely save money by doing it that way. Um, but we just got Sam's cottage cheese. If you've been watching our food shop hauls, you know that Sam is literally obsessed with this. He has it through his lunch nearly every day. And he started having rice cakes with it. Or he'll have like tuna on these rice cakes. He really likes these. They're not salty enough for me, but he really likes them. He had Greek yogurt and honey on them the other day as well. It was like a sweet thing and he really liked that. Um, got some green apples, bananas, sourdough. We actually saw a TikTok the other day. There's this guy on TikTok that like goes around the supermarket. Not Eddie. Um, there's another guy that like tells you basically how awful all the food is in the shops. But he was saying that this is the best bread that you can get because it's got the best ingredients in it. It's the best for your gut. So we were pleased with that because that's the one that we already got anyway. And it's really good. It tastes really nice. Um, chicken breast, we have this for lunch or dinner, um, steaks, we get steaks every week, that's one of our favourite meals to have, it's just so quick and easy and it's so high in protein, so it's really good on those days that we've both been exercising, so we've got sirloin this week, another little stray cottage cheese, um, Sam absolutely loves tender stem broccoli, it's his favourite, so we've got some of that, dark chocolate, Sam's been having, I have as well to be fair, having porridge a lot and he, he likes this really dark chocolate I don't like it to be honest it's too dark for me but he really likes that so we've got that to go into porridge steak mint some more bananas we get through a lot of bananas because I like to have them in my little smoothie protein shakes butter greek yogurt garlic eggs an obscene amount of eggs as always uh, more 10 percent broccoli um two more packs of beef mince a pepper for pasta we like to use that or noodles and then this is our favorite olive oil we cook all of our food in this 
we like drizzle it on top. Has that gone hard? It's like a weird colour in there. Um, we just get through so much olive oil, we love it. So we get this huge one from Tesco. It's only about nine quid, I think, which is quite reasonable compared to a lot of them, and it's absolutely huge. Um, so yeah, that's all we got this. No, it's not. I haven't showed you this stuff. Ketchup, uh, caffeine-free Cokes. We've been trying to get caffeine-free. Just because we both drink like tea and coffee as well. So um, just trying to limit the caffeine. Organic ketchup. Tomato pasta, we use this in all of our pasta sauces. And then this is Sam's absolute favourite pasta sauce. So it looks like he treated himself to some of that this week. And that is all of the food shop this week. Oh, did that scare you, my darling? Um, but yeah, I'm just going to put this away now. Get sorted. I'm going to film that content that I need to film. And then we're heading out to sort these awful grown out nails. Guys, I literally just walked straight back in from the nail place. I've got my fresh nails. I just went for my usual. I feel like I've finally found like my nails, my nail shape, the colour, they're just perfect. And the place that I go to just gets it right every single time. They literally smash it. This is the other hand. So exactly the same as what I had, but obviously a fresh set. The plans for the rest of the day now, I'm just gonna balancing you on my shampoo bottle I need to make the bed obviously and I'm going to take my makeup off I need to edit some content from earlier I've dropped a few parcels off that have sold on my vintage already which is amazing a few people have bought like bundles which I love because it's like we obviously have the same taste um so I've dropped those off and I feel so much better I don't know if I showed you did I show you the bag of charity stuff that I managed to clear out. That is all stuff that was just sat in my wardrobe and in my drawers. So I'm gonna leave that out um, for collection, which is really handy. And then the rest of the stuff is on vintage now. Um, I'll try and link my vintage for anyone who's like the same size as me, because I've put a few bits up. I've put some nice bits up there actually, just nothing wrong with them. And a lot of them I've only worn them a few times, but I like to just wardrobe cycle, like it feels really nice to just declutter. Um, but what I've also done as well is I keep seeing people talking about this and doing this is shopping your wardrobe. And I've said it to Sam and he loves the same now, so he's gonna do it as well for America. But it's basically just looking at the stuff that you don't normally wear and like maybe like trying them in a different outfit or trying to style them a bit differently. It's just pieces that you might have already had in your wardrobe that you've completely forgotten about. Like when I emptied my drawers out, I find I found some bits that would be perfect for America. And I was like, why have I not worn these? Like, I love them. So shop your wardrobe as well before you go out and spend loads of money on new stuff. I think it's a good idea to do that. Um, so I need to do that with my summer stuff. Cause I've got all my summer stuff, I store it in my big suitcase. So I'm gonna do that with all my summer bits. But yeah, I'm gonna get on now. I'm gonna take my makeup off. I don't really know what the, the plans for the rest of the day are. I just need to do some laptop work, really. I think me and Sam might go for a sauna as well. We've been absolutely loving for going for saunas at the moment. And I feel like a sauna after a weekend of eating crap food just like refreshes you. And it feels like you're just sweating all the junk out of your system. So I think that's the plans for tonight. Gonna walk Lola as well. And yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling now and take my makeup off. Hi guys, it is now the next day. I don't know what time it is, I think it's about 11. I've just pulled up to B&M because we need some top ups around the house. We need like bin bags, that kind of boring stuff. So I'm just gonna fly into B&M and get those. We also need Lola's food. She's literally without any food. So I thought I'd nip out and quickly grab that for her so she can eat today. But that's the plan of action. Um, my neck is still in absolute agony. I'm not gonna lie. I went to bed really early last night because I think it triggered like a migraine. I've had this exact muscle ache before and I'm so annoyed with myself because I know how I do it. It's when I'm in the gym and I like twist my head to look in the mirror while I'm exercising. So I obviously like pull something really far down but because it goes up here, it like travels into my head and I think because I'm all tensed up, like trying to hold it in the right way so it doesn't hurt, it triggered a migraine. So I had an early like night last night 
Sam was looking after me, which was really nice. Um, but it's actually pancake day today. I've just realised it's pancake day. So we're actually without a frying pan at the moment. We keep saying we're going to order one and then we never get around to doing it. And Sam wants these like really expensive stainless steel pans. But it's like £300 for a set. So I think we're going to wait until after America to splash out on a new pan set. Um, so we're without a frying pan. We've got a griddle, which is what we use to fry food in. But we haven't got like a smooth like pancake frying pan so i think sam's gonna swing by the shops on the way home and get some ready-made pancakes and we're gonna cheat and do a cheap pancake night um but yeah i'm just gonna have quite a chill day today because of my neck i just feel like it really it's really run me down um so i'm gonna do some laptop work when i get back i need to pack my bags ready to leave tomorrow morning down south to see my family so yeah that's a plan of action for today i'll catch up with you in a bit if there's anything good in b m obviously i'll show you Okay, I just got home and while I was out, I picked up my first ever vintage order. I've never ordered anything for myself off of vintage. I've sold loads of bits on there, but I've just never ordered anything. I don't know why, but there was a few bits on Opoly that I really wanted. But Opoly's, I'd say the price of it is justified because the quality is like up there with the price. But the thing with me is especially with bits that i'm getting for america sorry i've got like long bits in my eyes um especially the bits that i'm we wearing and buying for america i'll wear them once and i probably won't wear them again so i was like quite reluctant to pay full price for them so i just had a look on vintage for, for some of the things that i wanted to get from there sorry i'm crouching down so i don't want to flush my address um and i found the bits that i wanted um and i actually got a steal a steal a steal with this one it was like over half price and it said in the description that she's only wore it once so it's like this really really pretty two-piece so i thought i'd try it on and see what it's like and i'll show you if i like it okay i think it's a little bit twisted i need to like have a play around with it and i need a tan i feel like this whole outfit will look completely different with a tan but i think it's really cute and i really wanted this as well because i thought even when I'm not wearing it together, I could wear this top with like some jeans in the evening. So it's like a two in one and then I could put like a different top with the skirt if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, I thought I could like, obviously it's quite dressy so it'll probably be like an evening outfit. But really pretty, I'm really happy with that and it's in perfect condition. So I will probably be ordering a lot more from vintage i've always had this like weird thing about buying secondhand stuff not like a snobby thing but like i've always got it in my head that it's going to turn up and there's going to be something wrong with it or um yeah i don't know why i've got that but i need to get over that because I saved myself so much money on this little outfit i'm really happy with it i'm just in the office i thought i'd give you like a full body show of it just in case i am really short which i think is why it's so long but i quite like that i think with like some heels and stuff it'll be a nice evening outfit option and i love the top how pretty is the top i feel like it's a really nice shape and it'll look really nice with a pair of jeans as well the plan now um i'm gonna run myself a bath and just soak in the bath for a little while because i feel so tense you don't realize i'm sorry to keep going on about this but you don't realize how much you use muscle until you've got an injury like this like the way I'm moving my body is so like robotic I'm just trying to drive now in the car it was like to look that way I literally have to like turn my whole body um so I'm gonna have a cheeky midday soak in the bath to try and loosen it up a bit I've been using that heated beanie bag which has really helped as well so I think I'm just gonna take my makeup off soak in the bath for a bit I need to also scrub off, off my um fake tan so I've got that ready to go because I need to apply a new layer of tan ready for my little trip down south and then I need to pack my bags get all my stuff sorted so I can head off first thing tomorrow morning um but I'll pick you up again later because me and Sam are going to do pancake night tonight we're a pancake in the evening family I know I've seen today on people's Instagram them having pancakes for breakfast which makes sense but even growing up I remember we'd have them after school as like dinner or dessert of dinner so let me know what you do. By the time this goes up, it pancake day would have been and gone, but let me know what you did and when you ate your pancakes, whether you had them in the morning for breakfast 
or in the evening as like a dinner. Sam's actually having them at work as well. They've got like a van and they can get pancakes, which is really nice. I think that's really sweet. His work is really nice. They always put on good little things like that. So he's having two servings of pancakes today. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna run myself a nice hot bath, soak in that. Hopefully I'll feel a little bit better and I will catch up with you later probably when we are stuffing our faces with pancakes. Guys, it is now a little bit later on. We just finished our dinner, so I'm getting the pancakes ready. This is such a cheat pancake day. I feel like an absolute fraud, but Sam picked up. I said to him, I fancy like, because we usually have American pancakes, but I said to him, I fancy like thin crepes or like English pancakes. These classes, English pancakes. So if you hunted down Morrison's and found these ready-made crepes, because usually the ready-made ones are like really thick, aren't they? So I'm going to heat the air fryer right up now and make our little pancake. I'm going to put all the toppings on here so that we can just pick what we want. Topping-wise, we're going quite chocolatey. We're quite a chocolate house for pancakes. We don't usually have like lemon and sugar. I know that's quite a popular one. But we've got two chocolate spreads. Obviously it goes without saying a jar of Nutella and it's a fresh jar as well. And then this is what I've been putting in my porridge recently and I've been absolutely loving it. I think it was the Christmas range though from M&S. So I don't know if they have something similar at the moment. I know they were doing loads of different sauces for pancake day. But it's like a chocolate and orange spread. It's really, really good. So I'm going to put that on there. And then I found some chocolate chips. I saw someone earlier have chocolate chip pancakes and it made me fancy them. So I'm going to sprinkle some of those on mine. And then cinnamon. That's quite questionable, but I quite like cinnamon and golden syrup. And I know Sam will like golden syrup on some of his as well. He's not going to like the cinnamon, but I'm going to put that on there anyway. I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to pour the chocolate chips into the little bowl. I love chocolate chips. Why does chocolate taste so much better than chocolate chips? Mm. Some ASMR. Oh my god, they're really yummy. So yeah, that is the pancake day set up. So I'm just having a shower. Because I had dinner ready for him as soon as I got him from work. So he's, he's having a little shower and getting ready. But I think I'm going to round this video up here because I want to edit it and get it up before I head down south tomorrow morning. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be vlogging when I'm down there. I've kind of thought about doing a couple of vlogs. I'll see what I get up to. Um, but yeah, thank you so much as always for being here. I really hope you enjoy spending these few days with me. And hopefully I will see you in the next video.